Good morning, gentlemen. I am Commander Catchpole, and I am in charge of today's proceedings. Now, as you have all been informed, the purpose of today's challenge, kindly sponsored by Dan the Van Industries, is to see how well you all cope in a survival situation. It's good to see that some of you have come prepared for what is to be a test of your nerve, ingenuity, and ability to adapt. You will be living on your wits. You are? I'm Paul and he's Barry. Chuckle. Really? The object of today's exercise is for you to find your way back to the hotel by five o'clock this evening. Finish in the hotel pool. Any questions? How far is the hotel? Fifteen miles as the crow flies. How far if it walks? Thirty-six. That's probably because it's got little legs. Any more questions? Yeah, can you give us a lift? No, you're on your own. You have been issued with maps, compasses and basic rations. These rations will have to last you till the finish. Of course, it goes without saying that the first team to finish will be awarded a special prize. Oh, what? It's special. Don't ask those sort of questions, Barry. Besides, we'll find out soon enough what it is when we win. Yes. Oh, we're bound to. Barry's got a tenderfoot badge. You were in the Scouts? No, the Chiropodis. I had to get my toe fixed before the hike. I see. In that case, it just remains for me to wish you all good luck and say, see you back at the hotel. May the best men win. This way, Barry. Uh, hang about. We've no time to hang about. We've got some walking to do. Uh, just a minute. Now, the way we see it is that there's only one path. So the first one on it has got an advantage. Isn't that right, Harry? Yes, Chief. He's got a point, Paul. Hmm. So, I think we should come to an arrangement as to who goes first. Yeah, but how? Toss you for it. That seems fair. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. I don't like them two very much. Who are they? I don't know. Probably some of those doormen that Dan hired to stop undesirables getting in to see him last month. When was it you last went to see him? About four weeks ago. Oh. Now, we're here, and we need to be here. And the quickest way between two points is a straight line. Correct. Fine. Follow me. Hey, what about the map? I don't need that. I know exactly where I'm going. Are you sure that's the right way? Barry, you're obviously not as well up on woodcraft as I am. Now, come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! You could have told me that tree stump thing was there. I thought you'd have noticed. We are in a wood. Don't split it. This way. Are you sure you don't want this map? I told you I know where I'm going. Yeah, but that's the way the other two went and they said not to follow them. Trust me, they'll never even know we're here. All we have to do is follow them at a safe distance until we see the hotel. Then we can nip past them and win the prize. Right. Which way, then? This way. How do you know that? This stone has recently been moved. And this twig has got a scratch on it. Well, according to these tracks, two people went this way. Mmm. Two men. And according to this, they've left the track roundabout here. Oi! Hello! We weren't following you. We were just taking the same direction, that's all. That's no excuse. Me and Harry don't like being followed, do we, Harry? No, Chief. We're just trying to get to the hotel. We don't care where you're trying to get to. Me and Harry are going to win this race because that's what we're good at, winning. And we don't need any interference of you two, do we, Harry? No, Chief. Now, is that clear? Yes, yes, Chief. Good. Now, just to make sure you don't follow us again, I'll take your compass. But without that, we won't know where we're going. Oh, we can tell them that, can't we, Harry? Yes, Chief. Oh, thanks. You're going back the way you came. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still here? Us? Oh. Are they still
still following us? No, I think we shook them off. Phew. That was a close one. Can we go home now? Da, 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 da. You don't think I'm going to let a couple of bullies like that frighten us off, do you? I was hoping so, yes. Well, I'm not. Now, where are we? Well, using my tracking skills, I would say we were back where we started from. What makes you think that? Here's your map. You threw it away at the start, remember? I didn't throw it away. I uh, simply dispensed with its services. Well, do you think you could undispense with it and get us back to the hotel? No. I don't know why you don't trust me. Because you've got no sense of direction. Yes, I have. That's up and this is down. What more could you ask? Our compass. Let's forget the compass and go home. <laughs> A chuckle never flinches from his task. This way. Follow me. <laughs> According to this map, we've got to head for Little Wacket. Well, this sign says it's this way. Well, that can't be right. It is. Look. Oh, suppose it must be. Come on, then. Idiot. According to this, we're bang on course. <laughs> I know all that time we spent in the Boy Scouts would come in handy. All that time? You were asked to leave after two hours. Well, that wasn't my fault. I had a bit of trouble with the Granny Knot. Yeah, and Granny Knot hasn't been the same since. Mm. Bit of luck finding that sign. By my calculations, the hotel will be right over that hill over there. We're nearly home and dry. Hey, <laughs> you mark my words. Be plain sailing from here. Paul, what? look. Uh-oh. How are we going to get past him? Easy. We'll go this way. Guess what, Chief? I've just seen those Chickle brothers. Chuckle. <laughs> Not now, Harry. Still behind us, eh? Well, I think we'll just lie and wait here. This time we'll really give them something to think about. Yes, Chief. Chief? Yes, Harry? They went that way. What? They must have found a shortcut. Come on. Where are we going? We're going to follow them. Huh? I don't understand it. We'll never get across that. We'll have to go back. We can't go back. We might bump into those two other thugs. I mean, home. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let a little bit of water stop me. I was afraid you wouldn't. If Uncle Columbus chuckled had thought that way, he'd never have discovered Europe. He went to France on the ferry. So? Nobody told him it was there. He used his initiative. Yeah, but that was the English Channel. We'll never get across this water. Well, how do people normally get across rivers? On a bridge. And if you haven't got a bridge? A boat. And if you haven't got a boat? They use their initiative. Exactly. Like Uncle Columbus. Now, where's yours? I left it at home. I'll go and fetch it. No, 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 no. Initiative. I mean, look around. What can you see? Well, I can see a few trees. And you can't see the wood for the trees. What do you find in trees? Squirrels. Hang on. How can you get across a river on a squirrel? Not squirrels. Vines. <laughs> very nice. It is very nice. Remember Tarzan goes to India? Does he? What time? I'll go and see him off. No, the film. Is that the one where he wrestled the man-eating tiger? That's right. And remember what he did? Forget it. I'm not wrestling any tigers. No, 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 no. He made ropes out of vines and swung across the river. I must have missed that bit. How did he get on? He didn't get on. He sort of dangled. That's what I want you to do. Dangle? No, make a rope out of vines. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to be sitting on that tree over there with my eyes closed. Concentrating. I thought you might. Well, get on with it then. How long do you want it? I want to keep it. Just thought I'd ask. There they are. Let's go get them. No, not so fast. Let's see if there's anything else they know about this place. No point in doing work that they've already done, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clever, Chief. <laughs> That's right, Harry. It is. <laughs> are you sure this'll work? Of course I am. I've done all my calculations. See? You simply swing out to halfway, then let go and let the momentum take you the rest of the way. Can't we forget about the rope and let the momentum carry us from here? Get on with it. OK. Here goes. Swing out and dangle. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you forgot to dangle. Now what? I'm thinking. What I need is a change of clothes. 
See if you can find some rocks. Well, if you're sure. I think we're just wasting our time here. Come on. Just one thing, Chief. How are we going to get across the river? Always come prepared. I never go anywhere without my dinghy. I know what you're up to. Hey, you want me to dry my clothes between these two rocks? Good thinking. <sighs> well done, Harry. What are you talking about? They're far too small. Hey? I use them for stepping stones. Silly me. Where are we supposed to be in that chair? Shut up, Harry. Those two are obviously more dangerous than I thought. I think we'd have to make sure that we don't have any more trouble for them. That's me, brother. See? Easy peasy. Go and get some more rocks. Right. While you distract the little one, I'll deal with the other one. I've got one, Paul. Well, pick it up and bring it over here. <laughs> Who needs Barry? a hand, old boy. Oh, that's very decent of you. <sighs> oh, well, I suppose I better go and find him. Or should I have my dinner first? Gently oh, does it. Thanks very much. I don't mind admitting, I thought I was in trouble there. No, you weren't really. <laughs> But you are now, get him! Ah! Oh well, I suppose I'd better go and find Paul. So long, loser! <laughs> You'll regret this. You'll see. You'll probably get a chill. Barry! Barry! Hey, Paul, you never guess what I've just found. I'll take you and show you, but you're a bit tied up at the moment. Oh, am I glad to see you? It was those other two. We've obviously got them worried. They tied us up so we couldn't get to the hotel before them. Where are they now? They've crossed the river, and we're going to have to hurry up and we're going to catch them. Yes, but Paul... No time for a chat, Barry. We've got a lot of time to make up. Now, you see, Harry, brains will triumph over brawn any day. Those two nincompoops didn't stand a chance. <laughs> no, Chief. <laughs> Where did you lose the weedy one? <laughs> I found this big house with a massive garden and a swimming pool. <laughs> it didn't have a big sign that said hotel, did it? That's right. And you'll never guess, I saw the other couple in the woods. <laughs> they were heading for it too. <laughs> and funniest of all, 
Commander Catchpole was standing by the front door. You fool. That is the place we're going to. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I just did. Oh. oh. Where are they going? Just a minute, you've changed. Have I? No, oh, your clothes. When did you change your clothes? Oh, back at the hotel. That's what I was trying to tell you. Well, that's where they're going then. Come on. It is. Quick! If we can get there before then, we'll have won! <laughs> hey, hey, made it! Yes. We beat them on the two gorillas! <laughs> we showed them muscle bound idiots! Uh, Paul? Mind you, I knew we would. They haven't got it up here, you see. Paul? Uh, they thought they could frighten me. <laughs> As if them two could frighten me. Do you know if they were here now, I'd walk right up to them and I'd say, Hello. I don't think we've been properly introduced. Come along, Harry. Time to collect our prize. Ready? I'm not playing anymore! Oh! There she is, Ready? Come on. Ah, there you are. I'd nearly given up on you lot. Ted! Now, as I said this morning, the object of this course is survival. And as it looks as though you all have, but only just, managed to survive on your own for a day, I have to say, you've all passed. Yes! All of us? Yes. Oh. When Dan the band decided he wanted a survival course, he wanted it tough. So he came up with the toughest test yet. You. Us? He reckons the most important thing is to avoid trouble. So the winning team is the one that managed to completely avoid you two. And here they are. What do you think of that? You mean we went through all this for nothing? What exactly was Dan implying? Well, you have to admit that you two do... are rather accident-proof. Awesome! Whoever made something that? Do you know? I don't know what Dan's thinking of sometimes. Oh.